Hello guys and welcome to a wonderful late autumn evening up here in Swedish Lapland. I'm standing here at the Bortel 2 location, not very far from, from the small village Harads, uh, quite close to the Arctic Circle. It's uh, almost completely clear right now and according to the forecast it will stay clear to uh, at least uh, 1 a.m. or something. I hope I will be able to get a couple of hours at least with data. And uh, you can support my endeavors with some of these alternatives, Patreon or buy me a coffee. It means a lot to me and help, helps me make this uh, small uh, Arctic astrophotography adventures. But now I will begin to set up the gear because the sun has dropped below the horizon. I think everything is connected. You can take a look at the gear that I, I use. This is uh, William Optics uh, Solar Star 110, which I bought used for this season. Uh, I have the CWOEAF focuser. My main camera. CWO 1600mm mono and the filter wheel and on the top here I have uh, as a guide scope the Skywatcher EU Guide 50ED and uh, the brain is uh, CWO ASIR with a small router on top here The mount is a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. And here I have my my heated uh, hard case, and uh, I control everything through this uh, uh, tablet. And to run the gear. I use uh, a marine battery, I think it's uh, 86 or 96 uh, ampere hour, just an ordinary quite cheap marine battery. It has been very reliable for the last two seasons. I actually have two, so with this one I just uh, power the heated hard case and uh, one dew heater and if for some reason my ma main battery runs out of use I can can just uh, swap them and this is my main uh, camera for video uh, Nikon C62 with a Atomos Ninja yes, display and recorder now I can see Jupiter is coming up. It's a little bit windy though, so I hope it will calm down a little bit. Otherwise it uh, will affect the guiding. But I don't really know how sensitive my this rig is. My uh, former Maxitov Newton 
the large uh, uh, tube I used last uh, season. It was a little bit uh, sensitive when it when it uh, was windy. Well, I will check the balance of the rig now. It's a little bit chilly. I put on a down jacket and insulated pants. Um, it's not uh, very cold, maybe minus one, minus two degree, but it's a little bit windy. Uh, anyway, the stars have started to show up, so I can see Polaris. So I will uh, start to do a polar alignment soon. I had tried the EAF while I waited and uh, I had to dismantle it because um, I don't know, maybe it's uh, the focuser that are a little bit too, too stiff. I have to check what the problem is when I'm home. So I will focus manually today. Okay, so now I will. Turn the scope about sixty degree. And now it takes another one and the software will compare those two, so we will see. A little bit off, so I will start to adjust. Okay, I'm done with the polar alignment. It took about nine minutes. Total error 16 arc seconds. So that's uh, pretty good. And now I will uh, check the focus on Star Dube in uh, Ursan Major. Slew to the target. And there we have it. Now I will take my Batino mask. It's actually for my larger tube so it, it does not fit perfect but <laughs> I can use it anyway uh, you can see it's uh, way too big
actually quite good. I will adjust a little bit. Wrong way. I have pointed the scope at the Eastern Wheel Nebula and uh, took a two minutes uh, test preview. Um, there are some thin clouds however and the sky is not really completely dark yet either so I, I will wait before I start to shoot. Okay. <laughs> I had to put on some gloves, um, it's a little bit chilly, um, but anyway I started to shoot at the Eastern Wheel Nebula in Cygnus. Um, I begin with uh, to shoot in Hydrogen Alpha, 5 minute subs, so we will see. There were some uh, thin clouds, so it's not 100% uh, clear, but uh, pretty good anyway and behind me to the north there are some faint aurora activity also so we'll see if it what will happen with that later on but we can take a look at some subs so here we have some of the subs I think it, it looks uh, quite promising actually. And with this uh, field of view with this, on this tube, I can barely uh, get room for, for the eastern wheel in one frame. I'm soon done for tonight. I have uh, done three hours worth of data, uh, one hour each of uh, hydrogen alpha, sulfur 2 and oxygen 3. So it will be very interesting to go home and process the files. It's been a great evening, a little bit chilly um, and uh, there were real northern light show for about one hour. I don't think uh, it affected the subs actually, um, but we'll see when I come on. Uh, it's different when you shoot uh, RGB than the northern lights affect, affect very, very quite a lot actually. <laughs> forget to subscribe, press the button down there and start to follow my Arctic Astrophotography adventures.